From jam to jelly to wine, it seems grapes can do it all. You'll learn how they're grown and so much more in this vine ripened version of how it grows. Grapes, which are technically a berry, surprised? Well, get this, avocados, bananas, cucumbers, eggplants, and even lemons are technically berries. You know what's not? Strawberries or raspberries. The plants themselves are vines. Their fossils date back 66 million years, and they're native to both Eurasia and North America because grapes existed when Earth's continents were one giant supercontinent before they had a conscious uncoupling. However, grapes aren't native to England, so before they called them that, they were called Winberge, which means wineberry. Big downgrade, if you ask me. <laughs> it was around the 13th century that they began calling them grapes. The story of grapes begins like any good story, with wine. Grape cultivation, viticulture, it's nearly as old as civilization itself and began between 7,000 and 4,000 BC, somewhere between the Black Sea and Persia, which is now modern day Iran. From there, viticulture spread to other parts of Asia and Europe. By the 600s BC, wineberries, which I'm just gonna call them that now, made their way to France via the Phoenicians, settling in the then Greek colony of Marseille. Meanwhile, in North America, indigenous people were cultivating their own varieties. In fact, Grapes were such an important crop to the Native Americans and so prevalent that when Vikings landed in Newfoundland around 1000 AD, they referred to it as Vinland due to all the grapevines. Grapes fall into two basic categories, wine grapes and table grapes, though some table grapes are used for wine as well. We are focusing on table grapes in this video, but here are some differences between the two. Table grapes have a thinner skin than wine grapes. They are also larger, juicier, mostly seedless, and not as sweet. 99% of all U.S. table grapes are California grown, and there are over 80 different varieties available from May through January. The two main growing regions are the Coachella Valley and the San Joaquin Valley. So how do grapes grow? Well, the vines can live from 50 up to 100 years. After harvest, during the winter when the temperature drops, the vines begin storing water and nutrients to survive the cold months that lay ahead. This is similar to what beets do, and you should 100% watch my video on, on the history of beets. Come spring, warmer weather wakes the vines up, and over time, using the energy stored from the winter, the buds appear, eventually shoots, and then the leaves. This is called bud break. As it gets warmer still, shoots will spread further down the trellis as the leaves spread out and the flower clusters start to merge, but they aren't blooming just yet. Flowers start to form up to two months or so after bud break and are only there for a couple of weeks max. Then seeds and fruit start to grow. Grapevines are both female and male, so they don't need pollinators. The grapes start out as a hard green berry and are quite acidic. This is their formation phase. Next up is the lag phase. At this point, the grapes have reached half their size. Growth slows and they start to soften and start to show their color. Finally, they hit their ripening phase, which is called veration. Acidity decreases, sugars form, and they double in size. And the skin thins and that color begins to set. Grapes are hand harvested. So think a farmer. This is skilled labor. This work is important, unless of course you don't have to eat. Exactly. After harvest, the vine's leaves continue to gather nutrients and energy to survive the winter until the leaves turn and fall off. The vines are also pruned back during this period, setting them up for the next year's growth. And that's how grapes get from California to you.